let's get into the geography, sir, and let uh, let us make us understand what is South China Sea. Now let's see the geography of this place. It is bounded by Indochina from the west. That is countries like Vietnam, Cambodia. Then it has uh, uh, Thailand and Malaysia from this side, and Brunei on this side, Philippines on this side, and uh, countries like Taiwan and Japan on the north, which we'll cover a little later. Now, this is the region which is coming into question. And this is the area which is rich in minerals, oil and natural gas, and the entire the, the world trade passes through this. Now, the only places which can enter is from the Malacca Strait, which is here, or it could be Sunda Strait, which is here, or it could be Lombok Strait, which is here. Unfortunately, this Sunda Strait and Malacca Strait are not very, very navigable. Not that Malacca Strait is a very navigable entity. This also has got a limited width of few kilometers only. But then the entire thing is regulated from here. And from here, the traffic moves on to the north towards Japan and China, North Korea and those countries. And even towards the side, towards the south, towards the Australia. So this becomes a, some kind of a, a, a China lake. And, and it is the, these are the black lines which are showing the nine dash line. So this is the geography of this portion. And the state of Malacca assumes a lot of importance because this is only the entry point which has been regulated by the, the ASEAN countries, that is Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, etc. So what are the more places to enter here? See, I told you the places to enter basically is, I had said, is the Malacca Strait, Sunda Strait, and Lombok Strait. But these are also, out of these, Malacca Strait is the only thing which is most viable. And otherwise, rest of the uh, islands, they are so scattered over there, it is very difficult to hydrographically map those areas, but most of them are done. But it is not as something very, ease of navigation is, is always a problem over there. Now, there was one option available, that was in Thailand, there is something called Kra Canal. Like we have a Suez Canal in the, in the Egypt uh, and uh, uh, Middle East border. Similarly, there is, there is a canal which is a Kra Canal. Now the proposal was, it was given by the China because China thought it was the most affected person, uh, country in this region. So they tried to say, tell the Thailand that you please let us build over here. We will ex develop this uh, Kra Canal as a transiting point for the ships. And we will also give you $18 billion more to make certain SEZs over here, economic zones, dumping facility, etc. Now this proposal appears to be very lucrative, but then it has got a lot of limitations as well. Firstly, in case this Kra Canal is formalized, now the area south of it, which is Thailand, that area is insurgency prone. So Thailand government had first problem that if this is done, then then insurgency would increase and they would, it would give legitimize some kind of a distinction between main Thailand and the insurgent Thailand. So they were not very keen on it. Second problem is today when the, the, the this Malacca Strait, the entire uh, population is uh, the, the, the navigation uh, um, uh, trade is being done through this. This is again done with a, some kind of a revenue, which is going to the countries like Singapore, Indonesia, Malaysia, etc. So if you allow this Kraganal to open, then the, there will be a, some kind of a divide within the ASEAN countries on the revenue sharing on this place. So because of that, this particular thing was shelved. And, but then China still insists in, in all particular forums that this should be done. But so far, there has been nothing on this. But the China is doing it only for the strategic reasons, that in case the Malacca, Malacca Canal trade is, is, is suspended. Like it is only all India or any other country has to do is to take a, a ship, an old ship and drown it there. This, will, this canal will close. The entire shipping activity of the Chinese, their trade, even their uh, warship ships, they'll all get blocked here. And unfortunately for them, the, we have Andamans over here, which is the Andaman Nicobar Canal uh, Command as of today which India is strengthening in a big way. And India can keep tracking all the movements over here with us. But in due course to come, once the Quad is likely to be finalized, it is so far, the proposal is that Quad headquarter will come over here. And Quad is a, uh, is a, is a, is a grouping of four countries, that is United States, India, uh, um, Japan, and Australia. So all the navies would be operating from here. 
So this becomes a very, very vulnerable point at the underbelly of China's naval operations, whether they are economic or military. So that is the reason they are trying to sort of occupy this. So this is one issue which uh, China has to do it.